The makeup block is used within ProMax for solvent loop applications where we want to control our circulation rate and in some cases we also want to control our solvent composition. And so this makeup block will control our circulation rate by determining how much material it needs to either add or remove from the system. And then it can control the solvent composition by determining what material needs to be added. So let's go ahead and jump into a simulation where we can illustrate this block. The two most common applications for this makeup block are in our glycol dehydration units and then in our amine sweetening units as well. Both cases we have a solvent that we have in circulation and over time we're losing small amounts of this solvent and so we need to make up what has been lost. The makeup block itself originates in the Promax Auxiliary Objects section here in my shapes list. And you'll see here starting with our dehydration unit, I have the makeup block drawn here on my process. And so this makeup block again represents where we're going to need to add any solvent that we've lost as it's gone through our process. The first thing that the makeup block does is controls our circulation rate. And so I can control the circulation rate by typing in the circulation rate that I want into stream 12, the stream coming out of the makeup block. So if I open stream 12, you'll see here that we've specified a flow rate of 5.6 gallons per minute. And so with that flow rate specified in stream 12, Promax will calculate how much material needs to be added or removed from stream 11 to make sure we get back to the 5.6 gallons per minute that we want. So if stream 11 was only 5 gallons per minute, Promax would know to add material to get up to 5.6 gallons per minute. And if stream 11 was at 6 gallons per minute, Promax would know to remove or blow down material to get us back to 5.6 gallons per minute. And so that's all it takes to control the circulation rate is we type our desired circulation rate into the stream leaving the makeup block. The second job or the second thing that the makeup block does for us is determines what to add to our system here in the makeup stream. If I open the makeup stream, we first need to tell Promax the conditions at which our material is added. So you'll see that I specified the temperature and the pressure at which we are adding this material. Generally it's an atmospheric vat that we've just pressurized a tiny bit to get into the system. Down below you'll see that Promax has calculated how much material to add to get to our 5.6 gallon per minute circulation rate and it's a very small amount for a glycol system. And then on the composition tab we can specify exactly what material needs to be added. And so we're just adding this nearly pure glycol TEG solvent back into our system. And so in this case for a DHI unit, we've completely specified what needs to be dumped in. And Promax now just calculates how much of that glycol mixture to add back to our system. So the glycol system is very simple in terms of the makeup block. The amine system our makeup block is a little more involved. Let me turn over to my MDEA amine sweetening page here and again we have the makeup block drawn in our process and just like we did earlier we've specified here in stream 10 our desired circulation rate coming out of that block 190 gallons per minute in this case and so now Promax is fixed 190 gallons per minute in circulation. We next need to tell Promax what to add into the system. And so if I open the makeup stream, we'll again see that we've typed in a temperature and pressure at which we are adding in our new solvent. Promax has calculated the flow rate that it needs to be adding over time. But in this case, we don't really know the composition of what needs to be added to our system. And that is because for an amine system, we have a desired target composition that we want to send in circulation. For our amine system, we're usually aiming, if this is an MDEA system, for maybe 
MDEA or 50% MDEA. And along the way, we're losing some MDEA, but we're also losing some water, and we're losing them in different amounts. And so we don't know just offhand how much MDEA to dump in and how much water to add. And so we need Promax to calculate that for us based on the target of 50% MDEA. Okay, and so what we're going to do in this case is instead of specifying a composition into our makeup stream, I'm going to open up the makeup block itself. When I do so, here on the process data tab, we will see this table that is available to us. And it has two columns. This first column is our target outlet composition, and the second column is our bulk composition. So in the first column, that's where we're going to tell Promax which components have a target amount that we need to consistently be at. Okay, for our MDA in this case, we specified 40% is our desired MDEA concentration. And so this is telling Promax to add however much MDEA back in the, into the system that it needs to in order to stay at 40% MDEA. Now while trying to hit 40% MDEA, we're also trying to hit 190 gallons per minute total as we specified in our outlet stream. And so there's going to be something else that we need to add beyond the MDEA to hit our flow rate and to stay at 40%. And so the only other thing we're dumping in in this case is water. And that's what the bulk composition represents. You will notice when you do this that the MDEA here is grayed out. And so by being grayed out, that means we can't type in anything for MDEA. Promax already knows, because we typed in 40% here, that it has to add some MDEA. And so this column, the bulk composition, is just asking us, besides our targeted component, which is MDEA, what else do we want to be dumping into our system? And the rest of the stuff that we add to our system in this case is just water. And so we've specified here to dump in 100% water as the bulk of our material, while also adding however much MDEA is necessary to maintain 40%. And so by specifying this table internally, we're not only controlling our overall circulation rate in this case, but we're also controlling what our composition looks like coming out of this block. And so with this table specified, we are now assuring that stream 10 is at its circulation rate, but also that its composition is at 40 weight percent MDEA. And so that's the end of our demonstration of the Promax Makeup block. I do hope that video has been useful for you, and as always, if you have any questions, please do contact us and we're ready to help. Thank you.